I was 21 when I was elected to the Hawaii State House, and I had to make a decision at that time as I was filing my election papers of which party I would grow up, I would, uh, I would uh, join. I'm the fourth of five kids, grew up, parents homeschooled us, they taught us to be independent thinkers, so I didn't come from a legacy of, you know, you have to be a Democrat because of my daddy or granddaddy or whatever. They taught us all to think for yourselves, examine each issue, make your own decisions based on the pros and the cons and the merits of a certain argument. And what I saw back then and why I chose the Democratic Party is I saw a party that actually stood up for freedom of speech, that stood up for civil rights and civil liberties, a party that was a messy big tent party, but that welcomed people from all different backgrounds. That is not the party that I see today. President Biden said uh, in his speech the other day, he said, quote, democracy means rule of the people, not rule of monarchs, not rule of the moneyed, not rule of the mighty. Democracy is maintained by adhering to the Constitution. In that speech, he showed us how little he thinks of us, how little he thinks of we the people, and how little he thinks of the Constitution, that we will just sit there and hear his words, but dismiss his actions, that we will so easily believe his lies. I left the Democratic Party because of people like him. I left the Democratic Party because it is an elite cabal of warmongers who are driven by cowardly wokeness and this insatiable greed for power that blinds them to the consequences of their actions, how they are harming the people of this country and our democracy. I left the Democrat Party because the Democrat elite don't believe in freedom. They don't. They may say they do, as President Biden did the other day, but as we should with every elected official, don't tell me, show me.